my journey uh, is to listen. So many people, so many people, so many people, so many people are waiting, are waiting to talk. What's up, everybody? It's the Yak God. Usually coming to y'all from in the clouds, but today we behind the lens with the Fireman. Fireman, tell them where they can get at you at on social media. They can get at me at Fireman H O F at every social media or Fireman Crazy on Twitter. Um, they shut me down on Twitter. I have to get another. One, but Twitter Fireman H O F. They was goofy as hell. They so good for shutting some shit down. They be hating. They hate when a nigga getting on. Yeah, you can find me on all of them, F-I-A-M-A-N-H-O-F. All right, so we're going to start the interview off with the beginning of the journey. So tell the people where you're from and how it was for you jumping off the porch as an artist. I'm from Chicago. Uh, that shit was hard to do at first because it wasn't, it wasn't really nobody reaching back or something for us at that time. Or when we were trying to get our movement off the ground. The, the, the nearest people that was, you know, made it from Chicago was like the Kanye generation, stuff like that. Bump J and them, and they was already out yeah. of there, so we had to make it, you know, we had to make that shit shake, and uh, that's what we did. Okay. So, what did you get into first? Was it writing or writing for other artists, or was it your own music? Uh, it was my own music, but... It was real quick to start doing that other stuff too, cause it was like I'm recording myself. So then now I'm using it as a bargaining chip to get get weed, pay for shit, extra shit too, a little bit. So I'm recording some of the guys type shit who do music or something too. So then you know I'm making the beats for myself, so I'm giving beats out too to some people. Then it just progressed from there naturally type shit. So you producing, ghostwriting, and engineer? Well, I don't engineer now, but. When I was like a little kid or something, not kid, but a little teenager or something, and I record a couple people, maybe a little bit, not maybe two people, like right? not nothing major or nothing, but yeah. You think you still got the skills? I do it for myself, but I don't just do it as a job, though. You know, yeah. for people too much. But, so that is that your process for ghostwriting? You do like reference tracks, industry style, and then send them off, or are you in this well, actually in a session with the artist? For me personally, like everybody got their own style, you feel me, or everybody got their own entry point on how they put it together. For me, I always been better in person or in the studio live and direct with artists. So that's usually where I get the most of my my success from on in those moments, like my success rate higher if I'm around when I'm playing the beat or if I'm around when I'm pitching that idea or saying like, no, how about this? Say this. So you need or, that vibe. Damn, so I I feel like they need that vibe. Yeah. Like, so I <laughs> That's what I come through and, and I add that energy to the room and I add the lyrics and I add some melodies and whatever I need to do at the moment. So if it's a beat, if it's some drums, I just do my part to help. Okay. So what was one of the wildest moments you came across working with industry artists? Um, damn, most of, my, most of the wild moments for real happen when I just be outside in real life. Not saying that being around industry artists or something like that ain't real life, but I guess I mean like the wild shit that I've seen or see, that happened, you feel me, in the trenches and just and just moving through as I'm moving around and seeing what's going on with people or shit, you know, but in the music industry part of it all, it's really just a bunch of people singing songs and rapping <laughs> and get their <laughs> shooting videos and we go, we go work, man, and all that, you know. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know, that's what it seemed like to me. I got a couple of people that I do rock with as friends and all that. And, and, and at that point, we do the same stuff how people just do anyway, you know, so. Wild shit in the industry, the industry some wild shit in general. <laughs> it ain't even really no wild shit that occurred that I speak of, it's just wild. It's wild. Say the whole industry some wild. Some of it weird, some of it, you know. So, do you think it's any like distinct differences between industry artist studio sessions and underground artist studio sessions? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Because 
whenever I work with people like Vic Mesa, like when I work with Vic Mesa, it's the same as when I work when I was starting it to begin with, or and when he was starting to begin with, we all kind of started from that same place, so it's the same vibe. We just in a big ass studio today. Yeah. Like it's shit around type shit, but really, it's really the people, you know. So we ain't here kicking it. How we just gonna kick it anyway? Whether we in Chicago, or whether we in L.A. or at Rockefeller Studio or some or a record plant or something like that, we'll just be talking shit, smoking, uh, playing music or something. Hooli party them shooting, Hooli them party shooting dice or something. You no know, people just rapping to it at the same time. That's crazy. I didn't even think, like I knew, I knew it was industry artists who built to the studio and they wanted to be the vibe that they had when they started because that's how they create. Yeah. But I would think once so much money is involved in the process, it get to a point where it's like, all right, y'all gonna come in this motherfucker, we gonna get the business. Yeah. Um, me personally, I like with concessions that's longer because you know what? Then that's that is a part of what's the difference though. Because if you don't, if you got a tooth, if you got a little bit of money that you work with, and you got down get a two-hour concession right now because that's what you can rock right now, and that's when you when you get off from that damn FedEx or whatever, and you trying to rock out, and you feel you ain't finna just be up in here all over. Kicking and smoking, playing the game, mm -hmm. and you feel who, who finna slide, all that. You gonna be in there trying to, you done got it wrote down already or something. You feel me? Yeah, you, you done that read that shit down. <laughs> you trying to get that shit done right now. Get seven of them that you can or something. But yeah, that's the difference. I like to get longer sessions so that I can just, because most of my songs that I make, pretty much all of them, they come from just conversations I have or things that I speak on with strangers outside or with my family or stories, females or people tell me about shit that's going on with them. I just mix all that up in there. So most of the time if I'm recording, before I push record, I'm really just ahead, you know, just vibing. And then I'm gonna go in there and just regurgitate all the shit that I picked up along the way for the last couple days or a week before I record. That's dope as hell. That's pretty much my same process. That's why that just fucked me up. I really yeah. can't even rap if I ain't experienced that. Exactly. I've been chilling the, exactly. these last couple days. You be like, that's it. Do a track. I'm be like, I've been at the crib chilling. <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. But if I'm out here, yeah, moving, moving. As soon as we get yeah. to the booth, I'm a, yeah, because I've been vibing. I've yeah, got a lot of shit regurgitated. So I feel that for sure, for sure. What would you say? You got more of a passion for ghostwriting or doing your own music? Well, I ain't no ghostwriter. I just, I just, I'm a producer and a writer too. You know, ghostwriters they the people that write it and it's a secret that they wrote it. You feel me? And nobody know about it. And all that. I don't like to do that, but I do like to um, perform because that's my favorite thing. Live shows. When I go out there and I see my fans and these motherfuckers act like they. Lost they motherfucking man, they sing all the lyrics word to word and that make that's what make me wanna just go in the studio and do another one. Or when I see like videos back from from fans or like little kids or something dancing and making videos or something like that. That's what I like the most, you know. That's what I'm Legendary Fireman. Talking and shit. Talking is funny to me, I ain't really a talker. <laughs> Living my life like this, I don't really know where it's Paranoid, so I keep bleak. Living like this, something gotta get better. Living my life like this, taking no risk. Big drugs all in my piss. Paranoid, so I keep bleak. Living like this, something just gotta get better. Living my life like this, taking no risk. Big drugs all in my piss. Paranoid, so I keep bleak. Living like this, something just gotta get better. Living my life like this, taking no risk. They draws all of my piss, paranoid so I keep bleak Living like this, so I'm just gotta get better My heart is below the zero 
My love is breaking the thermostat. Took her up to the gang and no turning back. Can I talk to America, Bernie Mac? I gave you my soul and you put it in brownstone. I should have been home. You thought it was funny to turn up on Instagram. You thought you were skin bone. I'ma go hop on my cam folk. If you fool, I'ma bounce like a six folk. I can't kick it, but I'll be Cambo. I'm a blitz, so get love like a Lambo. I got vengeance control on my tempo. I need Bentley and I need a Lambo. Keep a gun in some woods like a Rambo. Pop his feet, turn his cleats into sandals. I'm a star on the track, I'm a Klingon In your city, you just a little peon In my city, they treat me like Dion My soul glow like neon I been cold for eons Been working, but so is the devil That nigga been going above and beyond Living my life like this Taking no risk Big drugs out of my piss Paranoid so I can't do it Living like this Some just gotta get better Living my life like this Taking no risk Big drugs out of my piss Paranoid so I keep bleak Living like this Some just gotta get better Living my life like this Taking no risk Big drugs out of my piss Paranoid so I keep bleak Living like this Some just gotta get better Living my life like this Taking no risk Big drugs out of my piss Paranoid so I keep bleak Born star Some just gotta get better